Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over everything that I made in 2023. And I actually, I wrote it all down. I did not think that I made this much stuff, but I guess I did. Um, but before we get to this, today uh, our son is one month old. He had his one month appointment today. Uh, we've been parents for a month already and it just seems like the last time I made one of these videos I was talking about getting induced I was actually getting induced the next day when I made that video yeah I I got induced and he it took about 29 hours and then he made his appearance on December 9th at 10 8 p.m. that's that's a bit of my life update. Now let's get to the crafting stuff. Okay, so getting into the crafting stuff, I'm kind of just going to be going down my list and then I'll be posting pictures of the items that I made last year. Um, first, we're gonna start with everything that I knitted last year. I knitted a ton of socks and um, one other point is I'm only going to be sharing stuff that I finished I did start at least one thing that I can remember it's a Stephen West shawl that I have not finished so I'm not going to include that in this um, if you're curious about it I have pictures of it on my Instagram page but I just I haven't finished it so I made a ton of knit socks last year so uh, first first pair is going to be um, a pair of shorty socks that I made um, the the brand of yarn is yarn Bee and the color is multiverse the second pair of socks that I made was Felici and it's fruit punch and actually, they don't make Felicia yarn anymore, unfortunately. I'm sad about that. I really liked Felicia yarn. I don't know why Knit Picks got rid of it, but it's kind of a bummer, honestly. And then the next one is Felicia yarn. I bought a bare skein of yarn. I actually dyed a few skeins of yarn last year, um, but this one particular was one that I made um, Felicia yarn, and it's like rainbowy colored it's like pink yellow and blue um, and they worked up really pretty so the next one is going to be cozy toes yarn and I believe that is from Hobby Lobby if I'm remembering correctly this one is shine like summertime so they're bright yellow I made three pairs of baby socks, knitted baby socks, because I also have some crocheted ones. Um, I made three pairs of those. So the first one is going to be just uh, a pair of wool blue baby socks. And then the next one, they're kind of like mismatching, but it's also wool. Um, I made a pair of Christmas socks. The yarn that I used for the Christmas socks I actually dyed myself. Um, I ended up actually kind of messing it up and somehow it ended up looking Christmassy and cute so it worked out. Randomly, next thing I have is a pumpkin. <laughs> I knitted a pumpkin, a um, little bit of decor. I also knitted some uh, baby pumpkin hats. So um, my mom had a few co-workers that were all due um, a few months before I was, so around like September, October time frame, and so I made them all cute little fall pumpkin hats. So those turned out cute. And then a pair of socks. These are hand dyed um, socks from Hobby Lobby. So it turned out really pretty. They're different, but at the same time, you obviously know that they are a pair. This was a knitted blanket that I made uh, that I forgot to talk about in the original recording of the video. Okay, next section is going to be crocheting. Uh, first thing uh, on the list is a chevron baby blanket that I made for one of my coworkers. She had her baby 
back in July, I believe. I think she was born in June or July, and I uh, made this blanket for her. Um, these colors are both from Hobby Lobby. It's I Love This Yarn, Herb Garden, and Fruit Salad, and it's the it's a chevron. I have a YouTube video on how to crochet chevron blankets if you're interested, and I'll tag it down below. I crocheted a bunch of these hanging plants. So I saw these on Pinterest. Obviously, I spend a lot of time on Pinterest finding way too many projects that I'm never going to have time for especially now that I have a baby. <laughs> I made one of these for my mom, I believe for Mother's Day. And then one of her coworkers was like, can I get four of them? I was like, sure. <laughs> I learned a new type of, I guess you could call it a granny square. It's a square shape, but it's like a pinwheel. I'm sure there's videos of it on YouTube. Um, there's, I think I uh, found it on Pinterest. If I can find the link to the pattern, I will share it. Cause I don't, I think it was a free pattern. I don't think I bought it, um, but I don't remember for sure. Um, but I actually ended up making a blanket out of it and I did pink and green. I didn't know what the gender of our son was yet. So I made it kind of like with both colors, kind of, um, boy and girl colors and put them together. But then he ended up being a boy. So... <laughs> I crocheted some booties. Uh, those are super cute. I really like those. I learned a new technique for cro a crochet blanket. So if you're familiar with the virus stitch, I believe that it's called, um, this is a version of that, but it adds some pico stitches around um, certain parts of the pattern and you do them um, around the back side of the post so it pushes that section up and gives it like texture it's really cool um, if I can find the pattern for that I'll, it's a free pattern I'll definitely um, tag everything down below I made a star blanket out of Karen latte cakes um, I love this yarn if you've never worked with Karen latte cakes you need to go and grab some because it is the softest yarn one of the softest yarns i've ever worked with and it comes in many many different color variations um it's just fun and easy to work with so if you're interested in trying a new brand of yarn i would try that one put that one on your list i made a few crochet ear warmers i have fun making those got some inspiration to do some scrunchies um, I mean, I made just a few of them and I used like a gray metallic silver velvet yarn from Joann's um, and they turned out really cute. So I just crocheted around a hair tie. Basically, it's really, really easy. For Christmas, I made a bunch of these hexagon um, crocheted uh, pot holders. So I made a bunch of those for my husband's uh, family members. I also made a YouTube video on how to make those. And then I made some crochet gloves. Um, I have these on my Etsy page. Um, this is my pattern. I'm thinking about writing it out. If you're interested um, in the pattern, let me know. I also forgot to talk about this crochet star blanket that I made. Um, this one's available on my Etsy page. And then I also crocheted some pacifier holders with clips. All right, next section, very small section. I did some sewing and uh, I'm not good at sewing. I literally can barely sew in a straight line, but I ended up making some more pot holders. Um, just out of random scraps of uh, fabric that I had. I made a few loveys. Um, these two that I'm showing a picture of was also before I knew the gender of our baby. Um, so I made a pink one and a blue one. I believe this is called like minky fabric. It's really, really, really soft and perfect for babies. And then I made a quilt for our son. So. This was a, literally, like, I just cut up some fabric into squares and I tried, attempted to sew them together and 
as straight as I could. It's got a few wrinkles in it and whatnot, and some of the squares are not perfectly aligned, but like I've never made a quilt before, so it turned out better than I was anticipating. Okay, last section is going to be cross stitch. One of my goals for 2024, just as a side note, is I want to cross stitch more. Um, I know these projects typically take more time, but cross stitching is so much easier on my hands and wrists than crocheting in particular and knitting. Um, I'll probably still knit like a bunch of socks and stuff because those are easy, um, small, I can shove them in a bag if I'm traveling. This is my sock knitting bag. It's really, really small. I can literally throw it in my purse. Okay, first cross stitch project that I finished is the sampler that I designed myself. This is a pattern that I have on my Etsy page. I actually used a orange variegated thread that I found at, uh, to be, I think you can find it at any craft store because I've I had to get more of it and I'm pretty sure I've gotten it at Joann's. I've gotten it at Hobby Lobby. So anywhere that they sell DMC thread, you can find this thread at, but it's, it's uh, variegated orange, red, and yellow. Um, the next one is a um, cross stitch of a side duck at a computer screen. And um, when I was working, I was working a lot at the computer and I was in, working in a medical office, so I was calling patients and everything all the time. And sometimes like with computers and stuff, you're just like looking at your screen like, what is going on with this computer right now? I saw this pattern, I was like, this is perfect. Cause sometimes I'm literally sitting there like, I was sitting there like this. And plus I was pregnant, so like it was, so frustrating sitting there at this computer and I'm like uh, not today <laughs> I actually hung this at my desk at work so it ended up being really really cute um, next one was a Marvel cross stitch that I made for my husband um, I made it for him to hang in his game room we are humongous Marvel fans uh, one other cross stitch uh, that I designed myself was a cross stitch of a pineapple that said IVF got this. started this project in January when I started the medications to do the egg retrieval process. So basically how that works is you stimulate your ovaries to make a ton of eggs with medication and then you have to go in and get the egg surgically removed. They combine them with the sperm and make your embryos. So that's uh, that's what they did. I had my egg retrieval back in February, beginning of February. So I actually didn't finish this until I believe it was April, so I was already pregnant. But this project really helped keep my mind focused because IVF is no joke. These hormones are no joke. Um, this process was probably one of the hardest things that I've ever done, like starting medications all the way up to egg retrieval, embryo transfer, and then pregnancy. Is it was a it was a hard year. 2023, I'd had something going on all year. I was either on the stimulating medications. I got ready for the egg retrieval. It took me a few weeks to fully recover from that. And then the next month I did the embryo transfer and got pregnant. So I was very busy in 2023. And I know I didn't talk about it a lot, but if you have any questions about the IVF process, please let me know. It is a hard, hard road to go down to be able to have a family. Um, it's not easy. Infertility is not easy to deal with. Um, best thing I can say is to have a support system. There's lots of Facebook groups. Like if you're going to be starting IVF, going through any kind of fertility, whether it be female or male factor, when it comes to your fertility, 
issues. Um, there's tons of Facebook groups and support groups and stuff for that. Um, he's trying to decide if he wants to wake up. You okay, Bubba? Oh my goodness, the newborn sounds. So, yeah, like, like I'm saying, if you have any um, questions about IVF, the process, anything like that, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below and, uh, or you can private message me on my Instagram page. Uh, that'll be linked below. Um, if you don't want to comment, um, down below in the public video. So cross stitch pattern that I made recently, uh, I forgot to talk about. Um, this is available on my Etsy page and this is the next cross stitch that I'm planning on uh, working on after I finish the birth announcement cross stitch. And the last cross stitch that I finished was a portrait of our cat, uh, Maxine. So I found a pattern on Etsy. Um, she actually has a ton of different cat portraits that you can cross stitch and this one was a long haired orange tabby so it worked out perfectly i had a hard time fitting her name in the banner but i messaged the designer of the pattern and she helped me out that is everything that i did and finished that i started and finished in 2023 if you like this video and you want to see more of my content go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, leave comments down below. We can chat about different projects that I talked about. If you have any questions, just let me know. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.